Okay, fine. You call yourself a human, but do you think that we are the only human species that ever lived on this beautiful planet? Perhaps not. Let's rewind a little bit when it all started. Around 7 million years ago, the humans as an animal evolved from the great apes alongside orangutans, chimpanzees, bonobos and gorillas. Almost like all animals, humans also had species of their own type. Scientists recognized around 15 to 20 species of humans, but some of the prominent ones were the Neanderthals, the Indonesian hobbit-sized people, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Homo nandilis, and the Homo sapiens. That's you, that's me, and all the other people on this planet. But now, let's talk about the Neanderthals. Neanderthals were one of the most prominating species on the list. They lived on the planet around 40,000 years ago, in the continent of Europe and Asia. If you looked at them, they were almost like the Homo sapiens, with a few noticeable differences. They had larger nostrils, they had larger brains in size, they have shorter limbs, and their average height was shorter than an average Homo sapien. And overall, they had a larger body than Homo sapiens. But where are they now? As I said before, they are all extinct. Why? Because you, me, the Homo sapiens, we force them to die out. But seriously, you say that a physically weaker class of people force Neanderthals to die out? Yes. You ask the reason? Reinvention. The biggest difference when we are comparing Neanderthals and Homo sapiens was intelligence. That's the reason they died out. We were much more smarter. And hence, we reinvented, we collaborated, we educated ourselves to be the better version of ourselves, and in the same way, we discovered new technologies and kept on adapting them. When Neanderthals were fighting with the stone weapons, we went and made the metallic weapons. A much more stronger version of them, more effective, and hence more stronger. Out of competition, Homo sapiens forced an entire generation of human species to die out. But why am I talking about all this now? Is this even relevant now? The importance of reinvention. History is meant to repeat itself and the future of this world is uncertain. What can you do? Do what your ancestors did. Reinvent. Every single day there's something being discovered, there's something being launched or there's something being invented. Kodak. Nokia. Like Xerox. Blockbuster. Yahoo. You know what's common between all these? Two things. One, they are all setbacks in some or the other sector. And number two, they didn't reinvent themselves. We talked about industrial revolutions in the video on artificial intelligence. Do check that out. The next industrial revolution can give rise to the next Neanderthals. The people who won't adapt to the revolution, the ones who won't embrace the new technologies, are the ones who will financially, economically, and socially die out. That is how much important reinvention is. Being adaptable is one of the most important skills if you want to survive in the real world. The best way to reinvent yourself is to learn. There was no better time period in the history of mankind to learn with such an ease. Almost anything that you want to learn is now on your fingertips, thanks to the internet. So, learn from books, podcasts, audiobooks, YouTube videos like this, but keep learning. That's what is important. Technology is one of those sectors that is never going to die out. New technologies will always be coming out in the market. But what is important is reinvention. And hence, it's high time you reinvent yourself. And always remember this. In just 10 years, the cameraman and the helicopter pilot both lost their jobs just because drones were invented. That is why it's high time you reinvent yourself. Just to stay relevant, just to stay up to date. Keep learning, be agile, and keep hustling. That's Arthur Vijay signing off. Wait, 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 wait. We're talking about technological revolutions. The next technological revolution is believed to be artificial intelligence. If you want to learn about it? Check out this video, which will give you a brief idea about artificial intelligence in just six minutes. Enjoy.